So in this video we're going to go over how to set up your Pi Hole for your network rather than an individual device. To do that we only need to do a few things. We need to log into your router, set up a static IP for your Pi Hole, and then change your router's DNS to point to that static IP. So first off go ahead and log into your Pi. If you have PuTTY, go and PuTTY into it. And then the username is Pi if you still have it on default and the default password is Raspberry. I do recommend you change this. Um, I just leave it the same just for simplicity. Um, if you don't have your SSH enabled or if you don't have your login changed, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Do it sudo and this can be a raspi R-A-S-P-I dash config C-O-N-F-I-G. That will bring you to the, log, log, or the Raspberry Pi setup screen and you can enable your SSH here on uh, interfacing options, SSH, and then click enabled, and there you go. And to change your password, right here at the very top, you can change your password. Yeah, we're gonna just skip this though. I'm gonna do it to control C to break out of it. But that's where you will change your password if you want to. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and look at our current IP address. So we'll do an if config, I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G, I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G, there we go. And we currently have an address that ends in 15. So 15 is a pretty low number. I like to have a higher number so other devices can use this 15. And this will use a, a range that no one else can use. So let's go ahead and change this dot 15 to a 200. It's highly unlikely I'll ever have more than 200 devices plugged into my network. So 200 is a pretty safe range. And to do that, we need to log into our router. If you don't know your router's IP address, we can look it up by opening up the command line windows. Just do a CMD, down on the search, have your command prompt. And here, go ahead and type a IP CONFIG. This is similar to the uh, Linux command, just IP rather than IF. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. And that will bring up our network settings for our local machine. And we can see our default gateway, and here's our address. So you can just highlight it, and it will right click, copy it for you automatically. And we'll come down here to Chrome. And now you can type in your IP address for your default gateway in the address bar, or you can just paste it in there. Enter. You can be prompted with the login. Um, if you don't know your login, it may be on the back of your router. Um, again, I highly suggest you uh, up update this because these are easily um, guessable if they're just a standard admin admin or admin 1 through 8. So definitely make sure your uh, passwords are up to date and not the default factory one. Okay, logging in here. So now I already know where my settings are. You're gonna to wanna to look for your LAN setup. I know mine are under advanced. And then setup, and then LAN setup. And then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is add a reserve address or what's known as a static IP, one that does not change. So to do that, we're gonna click add. This is gonna pull in all the devices currently plugged into the machine. And we see Pi Hall right here. And it's currently set to 15. So we'll select it. And now we can tell it what we want the address to be. And we're going to give it a 200. And we can change the name if we like, but we'll just leave it as that. And we'll click Add. And you see now it has added a reserve address down below. And let's go ahead and click Apply. And that should do it. We'll go ahead and come back over to the Pi. And if we do an if config right now, it's still going to show the 15. We still have that address in our machine. We're going to want to renew or release this and then renew it. Doing so is going to kick us off of our putty session. And I'll show you here. Okay, so we're going to want to do a sudo, then a dhcp cd space dash dash release. R E L E A S E, then dash dash R E N E W. So this will first release our IP 
and then it's going to try and renew it through the DHCP. And doing that is going to kick us off our session because we no longer have that 15. And as you can see here, we can no longer type. And uh, I will even just give it a second here and uh, you'll see the pop up warning saying we've been disconnected. Oh, there we go. So we've been disconnected because we're no longer on the 15. Our uh, pie hole is now on the 200. So let's go ahead and type in the 200 address and open. And here we go. See, we have a login. So pi raspberry. And now if we do an if config, pi f c o n f i g, we now have 200. So we've done half of what we need to do. We've gotten the static IP set up. Um, so no, no matter what happens, whenever this machine powers down, comes back up, it will always have a 200, as long as the MAC address stays the same and the name of the machine doesn't change. It will always get this 200 here. So now we want to have our router use the uh, pie holes address as its DNS. So we need to jump back over to our router. So we'll hop back over and we know it's going to be in the internet setup, I believe. And here we are, DNS, the name main server. Currently it's set to use my ISP's DNS and if it can't get that, it's going to default back to these addresses here. So what I'm going to want it to do is I want it to connect to our pie hole. And that address is one, well, we'll type it out here. Uh, secondary, um, I like to use, so if something ever happens to our pie hole and it can't get the primary DNS, it's going to default to secondary. Secondary can't get to the third. So if we can't use the pie hole, best bet is to use Google's, um, which is 8.8. .8. Dot eight, dot eight, and third, we'll do the same with the one, 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 and there we go. I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna take a second here. We'll go ahead and pause the video and come back. Okay, so it's finished setting up. Um, let's go ahead and test it. Um, before, in the last video, we went to CNET. Let's see if we have a similar result. We'll go to CNET. And I'm not seeing this big banner ad yet. Let's give it a second, wait for it to load. Remember last time we had a broken link, and the top right would say advertisement. Oh, looks like it didn't even try to load this time around. Yep, so we scroll down. I'm not seeing any ads other than the uh, basic ads for the its own site. So there you go. Pi hole is now set up for the network. And um well, even better, let's go ahead and take a look at the Pi Hole uh, server itself. So, the uh, all we got to do is type in the Pi Hole's address into the 200, enter, and here we go. So, let's go ahead and go to the admin panel. Here is all of the information. So you can see it's already, uh, let's see, total DNS queried 10. Login information. Percentage block. So my plan is to do a follow up video. I'm going to run this for a month and show my internet traffic of what it used to be compared to what it is now, running the pie hole, percentage blocked and all that. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's how to set it up for your home network and uh, 
I'm pretty eager to get this going and figure it all out. Let's see. It's not even using nearly any part of the pie's power. Uh, you should even show the temperature here. 32.7 is very nice. I is running a fan if you can hear it. Um, yeah, so there we go. Thank you for watching. Links to any tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you, or if you'd like to see a video on another topic. Thank you for watching.